Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I'm so super excited because I'm participating in a collaboration hosted by Ms. V and This and That with Denise Jordan. And this is the 2019 Vision Board Collaboration. Thank you so much ladies for hosting this collab. I was so excited to participate. Um, I have done vision boards in the past and I didn't get to do one last year so I wanted to make it a point to be sure to get one done this year in 2019. So, um, I'm going to be showing you guys my vision board. I have it right here behind me. Um, but before we get into that, I wanted to say, be sure to go over and check out Miss V's channel and um, Denise's channel with This and That with Denise Jordan. I will have their channels linked in the description box down below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope that you will enjoy this video enough to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And also, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you'll receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. And I so there is a scripture, Habakkuk 2 and 2, where um, it says, And the Lord said to me, Write the vision and make it plain. So I am using that as my inspiration for my vision board. Um, like I said, I know there is power in our tongues and there is power in, um, in, the, in our thoughts. And so when you're thinking things, it is good to write it down and make it plain So to yourself. So that's, for me, the focus of this vision board is um, kind of basically narrowing your thoughts into specific goals that you want to accomplish for your life and then making those goals such that you can achieve achieve them now I have to say I believe that um, the Lord is our strength and he will provide all of our every needs and so basically this is something for us to do because the Lord already has our destiny planned it's just for us to get in line with his will so I think putting your vision down and letting the Lord know your thoughts and your plans then he helps to lead and guide you towards reaching those goals that's my thought okay so let me share with you guys my vision board okay guys so here's my vision board and I decided to and normally I've made my vision board so I just had pictures just kind of all over the board but this year I decided to make it a little bit more organized and so I have um, categories here so I have family faith finances fitness fashion here and then in the center I have um, travel so I was trying to think of a word that starts with F for travel but <laughs> Oh, well, so anyway, we'll start first and foremost. I have front and center is faith because that's very important to me. And so um, here I have, as you guys can see, um, some of my goals are to focus on the word of God 20 minutes every day, every single day. So um, this is something that I know I can do, something that I know I can achieve and something that I know will be nothing but beneficial for me in the long run. So that's um, one of the things I plan on doing this year in 2019 is making it a habit every single day to spend at least 20 minutes with the Lord. Um, and then these are just some, some positive aspirations I have here. I will trust in God. Um, God is powerful, magnificent. Um, then I said, now is the time to do this. It's my time to do this. It's my time to focus, to spend 20 minutes a day focused on the Lord. 20 minutes or more, I should say. Um, and to live my best life. Um, and then these are just more aspirations. The miracles of God. God has plans for you. Um, it's time to move forward. So that is my first focus here. So my main takeaway from under faith is to spend at least 20 minutes every day with God. And then these are just aspirations surrounding that. Then from faith. We have family. So I have my family here. That's a picture of us at our family reunion a few years ago. <laughs> I tried to find a picture with all of us facing um, the camera, but I couldn't find that. I think I took it to my little guy's school. But anyway, so this is um, my husband, well, myself, my husband, and then our kids here. And so I just have here life, family life. This is us, and we're stronger and better with faith with family faith and love and so um, for family um, as you guys can see our kids are getting really big now they're they're basically like young adults and so I really want us to continue to be a strong family together now that they're moving on and they're uh, basically moving away from home 
but we want to continue to have a strong bond with them, a stronger and better bond with them. Not that there's any issues with our bond now, but, you know, we just want to continue to maintain that and um, have our family time, um, which we just recently did with um, Family Fun Night, um, which is something that we usually like to do. At least we used to do it when all the kids were at home once a month or more, but now it's maybe like once a quarter because uh, the two older boys are in college already. And then our daughter is getting ready to graduate. And so anyway, um, but just focus on the family. Family is very important to us. We have a very tight, close-knit family, and we like to keep it that way. And then from family, we'll move over here to finances. And finances is a big topic that I think probably most people or just about everyone will include in their vision board because, you know, Unless you are independently wealthy, everyone is looking towards some type of financial freedom. So that's what I have here under finances is financial freedom. Um, and then I did dedicate this one small little section here to YouTube because I was able to find the um, this word that says two million and then YouTube in a magazine. I was so shocked to find um, YouTube in a magazine, but then I wrote in two million subscribers and views on YouTube. And, but obviously, if I have 2 million subscribers, I'll have more than 2 million views. But <laughs> anyway, I wanted to put that there. Um, I want to have big money ideas. So that's what I have here, big money ideas. And then, of course, there's pictures of money here that I picked up out of the Forbes magazine. And a picture of a Mercedes. Um, right now, I am driving what I think is my dream car. But, you know, once you reach your dream, then you have more dreams. And so... Um, I would love to have the Maybach, if I'm saying that right, Mercedes. But so I have that there. And um, I put free mortgage, but really should be mortgage-free. We want to be mortgage-free. I want to be um, a president of a business. My business, I have some business ideas in mind that I need to step out on faith with. And so that's why I put that here, to be the business president, to make an extra $25,000. And I was looking for the words per month, but... I didn't find that, but so I'm going to just know that it's $25,000. If it's even in a year, that's amazing also, but an extra $25,000. And then I just wrote here, this is boss life being rich. <laughs> so I have that there. And then we'll pan over here. I have fitness. And you guys all know that I started a weight loss journey. And so I'm still on that journey. And with that um, comes fitness. And so I just have some little quotes here that says, be the boss of your body, which sometimes it's easy for our to let our body become the boss of us. And so that's why I have that quote there, be the boss of your body. And um, get fit, stay focused, look great. And um, then I have right under fitness, I have hashtag treat yourself. <laughs> Um, because it's easy as a mom to forget about yourself and focus on your family all the time. But we do need to take time to treat ourselves to a massage, to a manicure, to a pedicure, um, maybe to just um, an hour or two of self-time without any interruptions. But we need to do whatever we need to do to take care of ourselves. So I have that there. And then I have a few pictures of some fruits for healthy eating. And mostly this is for a visual effect because I like the bright colors. Um but and I have here it's possible so that is fitness and then we'll go over here to fashion you guys may not know this about me too much but just as much as I love home decor I truly love fashion as well um, so I have here fashion couture and these are just um, some pictures that I uh, put here with some fashion designers with a beautiful sundress since we're going into spring and summer now then some luggage because um, we want to be traveling here, so um, it's nice to have some nice luggage. And so, yeah, nice handbag, diamonds. You guys know our girl's best friend. And then a beautiful diamond watch here. So, yeah, just a few um, fashion ideas here. And then um, for travel, I have here discover the world, be adventurous, and uh, travel for free because there's different um, opportunities out there that you might be able to take trips, if not free, but at a huge discount. Um, so I'll be looking more into that. Although a couple of years ago, we did take our uh, kids on a trip and it was an amazing, amazing price. We got 
like a week trip for maybe $350 and a suite for us and all of our kids. It was amazing. But I'll discuss that in another video. Um, but so, yeah, so some places that we want to travel. And this is totally not a comprehensive list, but just a few places here of pictures that I found. Uh, the pictures don't necessarily match with the place, but I just put, you know, some places here and then pictures of different places. So, um, yeah, just to represent, as you can see, most of my places are near water um, or the beach because I just, I love being on the beach near the water. So, most, just about every picture I have here is that scenery. But, yeah, so traveling is definitely on our to-do list more. You know, you work hard all week, week in, week out, day after day, month after month, and don't really take time to enjoy and relax and so we need to do more of that and so that's why I have travel here alrighty guys so that is my vision board and so yeah you guys can see that here and um, now let's talk a little bit about how to manifest your vision board okay so that I just showed you guys my vision board and so now let's talk about a few things that I like to do um, once I've created a vision board to manifest the things that I have on my vision board. And so with that is, I have some little notes here, is number one, you want to put your vision board in a place that you will see it every single day, every day. Um, in the past, I had my vision board in my closet because obviously I spend time in there in the morning and in the evening. Um, but sometimes you may or may not, it, like I noticed that sometimes on the weekends, I may not go in my closet because I'd get my clothes out of my drawer in my bedroom or something. So this time I am planning to put my vision board right next on the um, credenza right across from my bed. So when I go to sleep at night, I will see it. When I wake up in the morning, I will see it. When I walk past my room throughout the day, I will see it. So you need to have your vision board visual in a place where you can see it so um, so that you're reminded of what your goals are um, each day. And then number two, you should have a mindset. Um, you should have a positive mindset and focus on your goals. So be positive about what you put on here. It, um, if you put something on here, then you should be positive in that you can achieve it, right? And so you don't want to look at your vision board and say, oh, I can't do that. I won't ever do that. And if you do have those thoughts, then you, you can stop that negative talk right away. And sometimes it's helpful to write down those negative thoughts. And after you've completed everything that pops up in your head negative, once you write those all down on a sticky sheet, then you go, this is not of God. This is not of me. And tear it up and throw it away. That helps to um, eliminate some of those negative thoughts that might pop in your head. Um, but so just staying mindful and staying, um, keeping focused on your goals. And then remembering also that in, in Christ Jesus, we can do all things. We can do all things through God who strengthens us. And so when you are considering your vision board, then just keep that in mind as well. Um, then number three is... Let's see here. Think about your goals as if they've already happened. So think when I'm looking at this, I'll think about these trips and go as if we're already on it. We're already it's already happened. And that also prompts you to start planning ahead and getting things in place so that you can actually achieve the goals that you have on your board. So with that, um, let's see here. Um, oh, I have a note here that says God will grant your deepest desire. So God knows the, the, the desires of your heart and he will grant it you. And in the Bible, it says, ask and you shall receive. And so I truly believe that if there's anything that I want, and honestly, guys, looking back on it, I have truly gotten everything that I've asked for, that I seriously asked God for and prayed about it and put it out there and left it on the on his table, didn't worry about it anymore, just put it out there saying, Lord, this is what I want. This is what I desire. I know you have this for me and I'm trusting and believing that you will provide and he will and he has. Maybe not always in the time frame that I thought that I wanted it, but if you trust in the Lord and wait on him, then he will renew your strength. <laughs> so yeah, you will, you will reap the benefits if you think not. <laughs> um, and then number four is, um, Okay, so I just said here, pray for yourself, pray for your family, pray for your goals, pray for your vision, pray for your dreams, ideas, aspirations, pray for all of it. Pray for your health. And then I went that here with your tabs that you have. If you, on your vision board, created sections like this, pray for each section, pray for your family, 
pray that you have a stronger relationship with the Lord. Pray for your faith. Pray for your finances. Um, pray for your fitness, your health. Um, and just pray for um, anything else that you have on your board that you are really wanting to um, bring into fruition. Then pray over that. Pray over yourself, your family, your life. And just ask the, the Lord to... Um, you know, grant you your desires. And then if not, let his will be done and you be um, thankful and grateful for his will. And uh, let's see here. And then number five, I just mentioned also, is just trust in the Lord. It, as far as I'm concerned, um, I know that there's a law of attraction and other things like that that people might do or uh, put their thoughts into when they are doing vision boards. But I believe that when you let the Lord know it's not the universe it's not a law of attraction it's the Lord who grants us every and anything that we have in our lives is because the Lord has allowed for that to happen in our lives and so when you ask the Lord for things then he will grant you your wishes your every desire if you ask and have faith asking is one thing having the faith is the real thing <laughs> So we can ask for things all day long, but if you don't have faith and trust and believe that the Lord will provide for you, then you kind of wasted your time, basically. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to stop by here and share with you guys my vision board and my thoughts on how I put together my vision board and also um, what I do to manifest the things on my vision board. This is what I do. These are, these are my beliefs, my thoughts. Um, other people may have something different. That's totally fine, but this is how I live my life and um, and how I create my vision board. And also, I should mention that the vision board is basically like a concrete representation of your life's desires, of the things that you want for your life. It's a concrete representation of it. So instead of it just being thoughts in your mind about what you want, you think you want, it's actually putting it to paper. Like the Bible said, write it down and make it plain. So once you write it down and make it plain, now you know what you're striving for. You know what you're going towards. You know what you're reaching for. So, alrighty, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, if so, be sure to give a thumbs up by hitting that like button. And also, leave me comments down below to let me know, number one, have you ever done a vision board? And if so, did you um, did any of the things on your vision board come to fruition? Like, did it actually happen? Were you able to accomplish those goals? And um, also, let me know if you guys enjoy this type of video. Um, and if so, like inspirational videos like this, then I may um, consider incorporating that into my playlist. <laughs> um, so, again, if you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Thanks for stopping by. And for my faithful family members, mwah, I love you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.